was in campus. If you answer calls from a local number and find out it's a scammer, you're not alone. As Josh Minnie reports, this tricky technique by scammers is on the rise here in Acadiana. Hey, ma'am, do you get a lot of uh, scam calls? Do you get a lot of scam calls? People tell us their phones ring almost daily from scam callers. While it's easy not to pick up when the call is from an out-of-state number, the tricky part comes in when it's an area code you recognize. Well, it's kind of annoying because you think it's someone you probably know, not just anyone calls from a 337 number unless you think you know them. I'm expecting someone I know or an appointment that I've scheduled and I get something that I don't want. In order for telephone scammers to continue doing what they're doing, they rely on people like you and me picking up the phone. That's why they're using a new strategy called neighbor spoofing. I work all over. I work from anywhere from Crowley to Eunice to Lafayette to all the way to Henderson. When I get into a different area code um, or in that area, I get different numbers every time and it changes. And the scammers can clone not only 337, but the next three digits after it. We went to the Better Business Bureau to ask what people should do about neighbor spoofing. Don't answer the phone. If it's your mom, if it's your mama, your papa, answer the phone. If it's not, if, if you don't know who it is, do not answer the phone. Let them leave a message. They say you can register your number online through do not call .gov. On the website, you can also report unwanted calls. One Lafayette business owner is following the advice not to pick up. In fact, one time I picked up and it was somebody wanted me to send some money because my son was in jail. She lets every unfamiliar number go straight to voicemail. I says, well, sir, I know you're a scam and I'm not an idiot. I says, I have no son. In Lafayette, Josh Manny, KTC TV3. Well, as students